Welcome everybody to another 144 and 360. Uh, this is a video or a group of videos that we do showing how the Fibonacci retracements work with the 144 rules and guidelines. Our last one dealt with when fibs don't complete their targets and what to look for from there. And this one is about how nice a transition that it made from a bear market into a bull market, even if it is in the shorter term here that we're looking at. Now we've been doing videos on the notes and also free posts on our website that you can find about the notes and this whole move down. Now what we'll do is we'll start with what controls the direction of the market. In this case, it was 61.8 was this top up here. So if we start to get this move down, we look at that this one right here, the rally from here went right to 38.2%. Now that's always telling you that that's the control of the direction. If a market can't get through 38%, then that's, that's the trend. And in that case, as long as that continues, um, you know, we'll, it, it's going to stay negative. So again, we get here to 38 percent and the market comes off. They should make new lows from that area. And then when the market really gets weak, it should stay under 23 percent, always an extremely weak market. And again, new lows and then down to here, new lows again. And then we find here that we went just short of 30, 23 point. Uh, six percent also hit a major GAN square uh, but then made the new low but it's this area right in here held above a big 78.6 percent retracement and this is the area we're going to talk about on an hourly chart or a multiple hourly chart uh, just keep in mind this target up here 1322 when we get into the next thing because that's a 23 percent retracement all the way back that's the big picture we're going to go into the little picture here. So now if we take this and we take a look at here on the hourly, as you can see, we had to use the uh, daily chart because of the, the sketchiness of the trade back here. But once it got into um, October, the, 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 you know, the trade got thicker. So this was the area we were just pointing out right here it goes 38 percent you can see and still keeping the market negative but as always we watch for this 78.6 this is always a key level i mean when these kick in it's it's really one of the the best trades because they either go 78.6 the other way or it truly turns the market's direction for the time being and could be the end and beginning of bull markets as we always say. So in this case it ended up being the bottom and then we can start watching it this way. Now 38 percent they did trade below this for a bit. Once they got back above it you can see that it took off and here's the other thing when when these markets come up into these are 38 and 23 percent of higher highs back on that daily chart and you stop at them but you know this, these are the things that should be sending you a lot lower and this is why we watch all the retracements right here because this market could only go 23 percent back now 23 percent as we just said extremely weak or strong market you can see the next setback once again 23 percent back and that's where um, this market went on to another big run higher now we come into where we are in our latest move and 23 percent of this move uh, still keeps this market extremely positive and we mentioned that 1322 up above is being a major tracement on the long term thing. So that's a good target on a rally from here. Uh, again, just as we watch the 78.6% retracement here, we're going to watch it up here because if the market's that strong, it should be making new highs. And any failure to do so tells us the trend is changing, but based on retracements not just figuratively it's where the levels are that are giving you these levels to watch 
So that's the key to it. And, and here we can say that if this level doesn't hold, the whole trend isn't going to turn negative until 38.2% gets taken out down there about the 10 half level. So those are the things to keep an eye on. If this market's really strong, we're staying above the 1116. You can't be just completely biased. You have to you, you use them even if you thought this market was going down. Uh, this is the level you want taken out, 23%, and then the 38. But also, if you want this market can you going up, you know 23% is an extremely strong market, and you can look for higher things. But not blindly, you're going to watch 78.6 up here. Any failure that comes in here could send this thing down in a big way, just as it sent it up. So it's always about watching all these retracements on each side. You can't just get married to the market. And you can have your other reasons, but this is the way you can check it, put the checks and balances on it. You know, we recommend we do this as educational for you to understand how to use these things. And this, we feel, should be kind of the core of your analysis and uh, just ba basing what the trend is and where it can change. So we hope these videos are helping you. And uh, if you like this, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our web page, or I mean, in this case, our YouTube page and then even better if you trade grains and livestock and would like to get all of these levels ahead of time uh, we'd, we'd appreciate it if you uh, got the grain weekly subscription that you can find on our webpage at 144analytics.com so until our next video good trading